right, before we start this uh, the video of how I'm going to show you how to do the axle, I want to state this fact. If you are going to be, in, um, be buying an aftermarket CV axle, please keep in mind that it needs to be at 25 and um, half an inch, I believe. It needs to be 633 millimeters. Um, that's what the dealer was recommending, and I think I converted it, and it came out to like 25 inches and and a couple change. Um, just keep in mind that. Also, um, when I am putting in the strap, um, I didn't mention this in the part of the video that when you're when you have the toe strap on the bottom, whatever um, angle it is at, it's at. So, like, let's say if the toe strap is on the bottom of the CV axle, you need to kind of hit the. You need to pry from up top because the way how the axle is is when you have the the cable, it's kind of on the bottom of the axle. It's tilting it up, and you need to put the the pry bar on top so you can actually um, even it out so it could pull right out. Um, so for an easier access to get to that CV axle, I would recommend that you put the strap on top of the axle and then pry from the bottom so that while it's pulling down on the axle, that when you put the pry bar up, it'll pop it right out. So you won't have to um, go through that difficult um, process. If I ever come across another car that is a Mini Cooper, I will repeat the video again. Um, see if I can try to make a better video out of it. Still, when I put in the um, the first time, I had to do the job twice. Because I put in the AutoZone axle first, and it was too short by 2 inches. Then I had to buy the CV axle from the dealership, um, which was 600 close to 700 bucks per axle and they're both the same price which kind of sucks um i think they take a big advantage of that situation so i think that's very unfair on on the part of mini but again um keep in mind it needs to be at 633 millimeters um if you know somewhere where i can buy that cv axle for a way cheaper price then please by all means comment below um yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and let you watch the video and enjoy it. Alright, today we're going to be working on a 2013 Mini Cooper base model. Uh, well, not completely base model, but it's not an S, that's for sure. Um, so we're going to be doing the CV axles, plain and simple. On the driver's side, these guys tend to get stuck a lot. And I'm going to show you a technique how to take that out. So first step, we're going to take off, well, first step, we got to lift up the wheel, or lift up the car, I should say. So here's a good um, jacking up spot, and then you can put your jack stand right under there. If you don't have an impact gun, I suggest you to loosen up the bolts, 17 millimeters. We'll do those first. Um, if you have an impact gun, just lift up the car and then loosen them up like that. Now, also, um, on each wheel, they're going to have a special key. This will be that. Um, you can find this in your glove compartment. If you do not have this, you need to locate your nearest local mini dealership or find these online. Maybe I could, I'll try to find something with the similar part number, see if I can post that one. If not, then it's not. Uh, if I can't find it, then it won't be posted up in the descriptions. Alright, next we're going to take off this, uh, I believe it's a, where is it at, 32 millimeter nut, you can use their socket, again if you don't have this um, uh, impact gun, you can press on the brake in the meantime and do that, if not, I believe you can pop off the wheel cap and uh, put back on the wheel and then put the car back on the ground and try it like that. But I'm pretty sure you can do it by holding the, the brake. If not, then um, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Should come off nice and easy. Then you want to get a hammer. Kind of hammer this one in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to be using a little um, a pick. And then got my two and a half pound hammer. Thank you. 
And if you need to, you can spray some WD-40 on that. All right, so now I kind of got it broken loose a little bit. Then we're gonna go on the bottom, take off the lower control arm. And that's gonna be a 21 millimeter. Then have your pry bar ready. And then what you wanna do is you kinda wanna hit the, the knuckle of this. Let's see if you can see that. So we wanna hit the knuckle of this so we can pop out the, the joint. Um, just in case if you're, if you're a little clumsy, I would suggest you put back on the nut. Just like that. So just in case if you hit the threads, you don't end up damaging the threads and making the job a lot more difficult. So in the meantime, So just like that, the, the ball or the lower control arm should pop off from the ball joint. So again, there's a couple times where I accidentally slipped and I would have hit the threads if I didn't have this nut on. So good thing I had that. And then you'll use your pry bar and you'll kind of push down the lower control arm. And where I grabbed that lower control arm so you can see. I just pried in between the lower control arm just like that and pushed down. And then it was able to go up and down. So next, I'm going to go ahead and tap in this axle a little bit more. So we can pop it out from the, um, from the, the wool bearing hub. Okay, so the way how we're going to kind of take this CV axle off is um, you can either rent the tool, but some spots are, are a little bit more difficult than others. Um, I usually use a chain and a slide hammer, but the chain can go around the CV axle and the, um, the transmission. Well, not the transmission. I'm trying to get it going around the CV axle, but my space is so limited that I cannot get the chains in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, basically like a strap. Got it from my wife's um, uh, little uh, diaper bag, so hopefully she doesn't kill me on this one. But what she doesn't know won't hurt her unless she watches this video. Don't kill me, babe. Uh, so we'll go ahead and wrap this around a couple times and tie it. And then we'll use the the slide hammer to, to do that. If not, I might have to go buy some uh, toe straps, and that'll work out perfect. Alright, so here's the CV axle. Um, like I said, I already tried with the strap, but it already popped out the CV axle. No biggie, but we still need to get out the, um, the inner hub. So we'll go ahead and put the pry bar right there and see if that works out. All right, so I actually had to go get a strap because this sucker's actually stuck on there. So, no biggie. So again, we're gonna go ahead and get our strap. 
you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that you can try to slide it right in. I want to do this probably about a couple times. Have it tied on. Obviously, I'm gonna push that back just a little bit more. Then I put the toe strap hook, and then um, through the toe strap, I got a slide hammer. Um, part number, I'll go ahead and put it in the description. And then you would uh, put the nut right here, not on the hook side, you want it through on the whole side through the strap. And you want to make sure as you're pulling back firmly, so you want to make sure there's as much as tension as possible just like that, and then you'll go ahead and slide the hammer back. Um, keep in mind, just make sure when this thing pops off, it might ricochet, so um, try to put like a rag or something. Or like a towel on the way in the meantime. But we'll go ahead and try this. This one never fails me, this one always works. Well, this sucker is pretty t stuck on there, so I'm gonna have to strap it to something else. Cause the slide hammer ain't working. All right, so I had a. Since I can't use a slide hammer to get it out, this sucker is actually pretty stuck on. So, strapped it to another car, um, and I'm just gonna keep strapping those down until it pops right out. So hopefully the strap doesn't break on or break off. So. I never had an issue like this one, but this guy is stuck on there. I mean, like, stuck on there. So I got a lot of tension on this guy, and this sucker is still not coming off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try putting the pry bar now on it and see if I can get it to pry right off. Be careful when you're doing this step because there is a lot of tension on that axle.
So this guy is pretty seized on there. Um, trust me, I got a lot of tension where the other car's starting to roll back. And I don't know what's going on with this axle, but I guess it's pretty common for the Mini Coopers for it to get stuck. And I've heard about the dealerships replacing the transmission with the axle because it's stuck on there. But, well that ain't the case because I'm not giving up on this damn freaking axle. So, we'll get a pry bar see what we can do. Got that sucker out. Oh my god, story of my life. See I got some of the the grease in my screen. Wipe that off. Alright. Holy whack a mole. Well, that's the reason why it's stuck on there because it's all rusted in there. I don't know why it would be rusted. But Oh my god, story of my life. Honestly, I thought I was going to have to quit as a mechanic. Okay. So here's the old CV axle. Uh, well, just the joint itself. So basically, as I had it tan chinned all the way to the other car, like, I mean, literally, I was afraid this thing was about to snap. It was uh, opening up the 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 hooks so in the meantime as I had that I had this pry bar and then my two and a half pound hammer it's my my Thor's hammer favorite hammer in the world I love this baby see it did its job and then this pry bar about the same length if you can get it jacked up higher you can probably put in a longer uh, pry bar but um I tried using a little smaller one in the meantime but it was a little bit too thin and it was sliding right off. So I got one that was just a slight more um, thicker. So this worked out perfect. Um, took a little bit longer than what I actually expected. Uh, a buddy of mine, he works at the mini, mini dealership and he was telling me that these guys on the driver's side are normally um, one to be stuck on a lot and that sometimes like they can't get them off. Well, story of my life, I had to deal with that. But, I got it off. So, we'll go ahead and slap on the new CV axle. I'm going to go ahead and clean out that little area. Put a little WD-40. Put some electric grease on the new CV axle. And then we'll go ahead and finish processing this video. Okay, so here's the new CV axle. Got it all greased up. It even says that in the service bulletin to, to grease it up. Um, didn't put grease right there because obviously I'm going to be holding it. So I put the grease inside the center support or the center hub. Um, then I clean the inside with the brass brush. You can use like a steel one too. Uh, the one that I use, where it's at. Where did I put it at? So this is the one that I use. It's going to fit in there pretty nice. No real struggle. So now it's time for the install. Now when you're installing the CV axle, you want to kind of spin it in and make sure that it's it's grabbing the gears and not going against it. Okay, so now that we got the CV axle popped in, this thing has been a, a difficult one. Job should have been smooth, but again, I guess this side has a lot of issues. And so what I was doing is that I was hitting right here while pressing against um, the axle by putting pushing forward and make sure that it's all collapsed and then hammer right here. Make sure you don't hit the threads and then it should sit in right perfect. So we'll go ahead and put the axle in.
Then we'll put in our um, door ball joint nut. Axle nut. Now, once we got a, um, the axle nut tightened down, you're going to need a we're going to need to hit down this piece right here. Let's see if I can show you that. So you need to lock, lock this guy in. We're gonna just kind of use the center punch to push this down, and so we can lock the wheel. Ah, if you don't have a center punch, you can use a pry bar too. And just pretty much just like that. Don't forget to take out your key so you don't leave that in there now if this video helped you out in any kind of way comment below uh, give it a thumbs up and then hit that subscribe button down right below and hit the bell button for notifications and thanks for watching have a good one